Today we're going to make a pretty ghetto stitching pony on a budget. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about stitching ponies. I feel like these don't get added in necessary leatherworking tools lists uh, when people make videos or whatever. And I feel they're pretty mandatory. I, when I first started, tried making stuff without a stitching pony and if you don't already have the skills to stitch stuff up nicely, it's a disaster. Or at least it was for me. But I've seen some uh, pretty sketchy looking work from guys that have tried it as well. And making a stitching pony doesn't have to be super expensive. Um, if That said, if you can afford a nice stitching pony, this is the one I'm using now. This is by Wing & Wave Designs. Cost me about, uh, I think, 130 bucks, but I can't remember. Somewhere around there. They're all pretty similar, around 100 to 150 bucks. If you can afford it, it's the way to go. These things are, you know, built for that task. But uh, a lot of guys starting out don't have the money for something like this. I know I didn't. And so there's a couple ways that you can go to have a stitching pony and uh, not have to pay any money for it. So I'm going to show you two ways today. Um, I'm not going to fully build one from scratch that would cost you a, a few bucks. It's still pretty cheap and I'll save that for another video. But the first way that I'm going to show you is a way that I actually learned from uh, Little King Goods. And in his saddle stitching tutorial, I'll link it in my description, he talks about using a book. And so Gordon Ramsay's going to help us out today. And what you do is you essentially just take the book, you're going to open it up like this, say this is whatever you're stitching up, stick it in there, and then you're just going to put this between your legs or, or secure it somehow. You could throw an elastic band around here as well, would do it. And you can stand the book up and you can actually stitch here. Uh, I've tried it, it actually works really well. Everyone has some books, uh, I would say. Our cover book's obviously gonna be better, but it does work with whatever you got. So yeah, a book, an elastic band, and you got a stitching pony. Um, the other way that I have for you is I had these around my house. This was my stitching pony for most of my uh, leatherworking career so far. So from, uh, let's say, August of last year until I think January uh, when I got the Wing & Wave Designs one. This is what I called the Ghetto Pony. It is made of two wood clamps. I already had these. You can get wood clamps cheap. I think these were five or ten bucks each. Um, this one's from Home Depot. This one's from uh, a local two store. But yeah, five or ten bucks each. Just some scrap wood. And then I will open this up. And then I just threw a couple scraps of leather in between there. Pretty simple. Put your piece between the leather. Stick that in there. There you go, the ghetto pony. This thing, I mean, I still have it in here. It's, uh, it's lasted me a long time. I'll probably never get rid of it just because it's kind of funny, but it kind of has a place in my heart. I did a lot of stitching on this thing and, you know, I used this and made enough money to, to buy this thing. So yeah, if you uh, just grab a couple pieces of two by four, a couple wood clamps, you are good to go. And that's it for this one. Uh, super quick, like I promised, I am going to make a video making a budget stitching pony uh, that'll involve like, you know, some two by fours and a hinge and, and it'll be a full thing. Uh, one that I didn't mention is Amazon actually sells a pretty cheap, decent stitching pony. I think it's like 30 bucks. Um, it would be worth taking a look at. I've never seen one in person, but I know 
quite a few people who bought the thing. Uh, but yeah, you don't you don't gotta break the bank buying these things, but they will definitely make your work better. Don't go on thinking that uh, you can make really quality leather stuff easily without a stitching pony. If you like this video, leave a like below. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll uh, get back to you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.